Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here with Able Cine, and today we're going to be talking about the Light Panels Astra 6X bicolor unit. So let's get started. Okay, so I've been using light panels now since the original on-camera brick light that they came out with. And if you remember that, it's probably heavier than a lot of the modern digital cinema cameras that we're using today. And then light panels came out with the one by one form factor, which they are so well known for, which has evolved over time to this now today, the Astra 6X. It comes in a daylight and also a bicolor unit. I'm using the bicolor. I think it's better suited for small to no crew production where you wanna have that flexibility. And why is it called the 6X? It is six times brighter than the original light panels one by one, and it is 50% brighter or has more output than the last version of the Astrolite. So really, really giving you a lot of punch, uh, maximum power draw of 105 watts. And this fixture is something that I've used on many, many productions. Now the focus of this video is not going to be on photometrics. You can go to Light Panel's website and there are plenty of articles and reviews that talk about the output of this light from different distances. Also, of course, it is high CRI and TLCI, and you can look at those metrics and see what those are as well online. But what I really wanna do is break down what the light is and different ways that you can use it in your production. Now, this being sort of ubiquitous to what we're seeing and sourceable in so many places, it's definitely a light that you should know about and kind of know what the features are. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. I'm just gonna go ahead and swing the light around here so we can take a look at the back first. And pretty simply, we have over here our color temperature knob. Big change now is that we can actually see readings in Kelvin temperature from tungsten to daylight. We also have our intensity knob here, which is how much light is coming out of the fixture. And then of course the power button. And then here, just under the fan, which is very quiet, not a problem for interview type setups. There is a space here where you can add a module that will give you DMX and also Bluetooth control over the light. And you can actually control multiple fixtures if you have that module in multiple Astra lights. So here you can see that we have the Astra being powered by mains, so it's actually plugged into the wall. And we've got this standard three pin XLR attachment, which is going into the power brick right here. And then that's running to our outlet. And what's nice about it is it's all compact. It's all built into the yoke system of the Astra. So it's very, very easy to use. But as you saw when I turned it around, I actually have an optional adapter on here, which for this unit that I have is set up for AB or gold mount. So that's what this is. But you can also get a V mount adapter also attaches directly to this yoke here so it's all self-contained the other nice little touch here is we have a quarter 20 tap here and also here on the yoke of the light system so that's really the back of the light again that fan is very very quiet and the yoke is built in and is all part of the unit it's a very light unit overall and just in terms of taking a look at the light that's coming out of it, you can see here that as I start to turn on the light, it is a dim to zero. So we've got a hundred to zero here. It's a true dim to zero unit. It is designed to be used for high speed. So you can actually do off speed recording here with no flickering and issues like that. So if we take a look at that here, you can see if you're looking at the actual diodes themselves coming through the lenses that we do have really, really precise control over that output. And again, let me just go to full power here. You can see there's a lot of punch with this unit that I can change the color temperature. And when I'm doing that, that is in fact a regulated output there. You'll see a slight shift in terms of output, but nothing like you may have seen in some fixtures when you get to that middle ground between tungsten and daylight where you're getting virtually twice as much output from the light system itself. So this is a true world light. You can use it in any country. You just need to make sure that what is plugged into the wall is the correct plug. And then this will do the rest in terms of the power supply. And then in terms of battery powering this thing, it's very simple. You just go ahead and attach the battery, whether it's V mount or AB gold mount. 
you will detach the XLR plug that you're using from mains. And then there is a cable here, which is a P or a D tap. Just goes right back into the adapter here on the back of the unit. Once that's attached, then that gets plugged in as a three pin XLR into the back of the unit. And then you can turn the fixture on and you are battery powered. And the output of this unit in battery power is the same as if we are powering off of mains. So you're getting that, all of that output there. So we're just gonna turn this around now and take a look at the front of the unit. And these LEDs each have a lens in front of them and that lens degree angle is 46 degrees. And what I've found for the Astras is those lenses are giving me the ability to very easily both bounce and also diffuse the light. There's something about that degree angle which makes it very easy to do both of those. It's not too wide where bouncing is difficult and it's not too narrow that when you want to push it through something, some diffusion, that you have a spottiness. You can back it off a little from a diffusion panel and get really, really great results with it. So there you have it. That's a good overview of the features of the light itself. I love that 46 degree beam angle because it means that I can use it easily as a hard light source, but I can also use it as a bounced or a diffused source in my productions. In fact, that's the way I'm using it most of the time, unless I need it to read as a harder source coming into a window or it's being used for an edge or a kicker or something like that. And the buy color for me is what I would get if you're in a small to no crew situation, even though the Astra 6X does come in a daylight only fixture. For me, being able to have that flexibility of choosing color temperatures is definitely something that I want to have in my productions. So let's just go ahead and take a look at this light being used in a couple of different situations where we're bouncing the light and also diffusing the light and just sort of talking about how it will be used in real world production. This first setup right here, we're using it as essentially a back key here, as a hard back key. And it's just basically coming in and wrapping around Ken. And I just have a little bit of fill coming in from camera side, which is just a four by four piece of beadboard. In this second setup, what we're doing is we're taking that four by four piece of beadboard, we're bouncing the Astra off of that, so we're filling that four by four frame, and you can see here that we're getting that Rembrandt style lighting. Here I am just walking in a little bit of fill from the fill side, so you can see how that can be done just with a reflector, but that's all that that setup is. So in this last setup, what we're doing is we're taking the Astra and we're attaching it to the rabbit ear system from DOP Choice. They come in different sizes, these different frames. This is a single 6X going into there. And then as our modifier, it's a three by four softbox. So that's really great. And you could even take two of these Astra 6Xs and you could put them into a larger rabbit ears and attach it to the same softbox because it's a system they've designed to use with lots of different lights. And as you can see here, we just have this really nice soft wrapped light around our talent. And then we're just walking in here a four by four piece of beadboard on the fill side. And you can see how that looks. So there you go. Those are a few different setups using the Astra 6X in production. So there you have it. That's an overview of the light panels Astra 6X bicolor fixture. Thanks for watching.